Hello everyone, this is a no damage playthrough of Silent Hill 2's Born from a Wish substory featuring Maria. Please enjoy. So we are playing this on hard difficulty setting as well. When I woke up, I was all alone. Everyone's gone. Is it because of those monsters? What do I do now? Do I fight and live? Or do those monsters get me? I don't have any reason to go on living. But... But I'm scared to die. I'm so afraid of pain. Should I... run away? I want to find... somebody. I... don't like being alone. But... But is there anyone left alive? So first things first, there is some ammunition right there, as well as two health drinks right on the floor. We start off in Heaven's Night. In the Stripper's Hall, we have a meat cleaver as well as a first aid kit, and then we could proceed out. So Silent Hills Born from a Wish is the, if you would say, prequel to Silent Hill 2 Letter from Heaven, which is the title of Silent Hill 2's main scenario. Um, and this, this is the origin story of Maria, and kind of like what she went through before she met up with James at the Rosewater Park. We're going to start off by just heading down the Silent Hill to South Vales main roads. And of course on hard difficulty we're going to have a bunch of enemies right in front of us. So we're going to hug the left of this road. I mean you can feel free to open your map at any time. I think uh, Maria starts with one. I'm not too sure actually. But we want to make our way almost like a U and uh, head over to the Baldwin residence. There's some health drinks right over there in front of the delivery van. But not much else going on, just running and running. I feel like there's a lot of um, dead space in Silent Hill 2 as much as I love it. There's just a lot of, like, empty traveling, but other than that, it's fantastic. We'll take this road directly straight up. And over by this mannequin and this pile of meat, I guess, we're going to pick up some revolver ammo. Side. As 
soon as we enter this area, there are two lying figures. We have to move pretty quickly in order to avoid its spray. So I kind of set this one up as if it was like almost like a long play. Uh, this is also a no save, no damage playthrough. We do not save at all. The map is right over here on the table. Born from a Wish is pretty uh, cutscene heavy. There's some uh, revolver ammo right over there. So yeah, expect a decent amount of cutscenes to explain most of our story. Is somebody there? Open up! Hello? Stop it. You're disturbing me. <gasps> Thank God. I finally found somebody. Can you open the door? No. But why? <sighs> Is it really necessary for me to answer all your tedious questions? Yes. Oh. I didn't know that. I want to be alone. Other people just irritate me. I just want to see another human face. Do you know what's happening in this town? There's no one here. Just monsters. Yes, I know. So what? It has nothing to do with me. No one here means there's no one to disturb me. You want to be alone in this insane asylum? Yes, exactly. But how can you say that it's this town that's insane? Perhaps it's we who are insane. Both of us, hopelessly insane. Are you satisfied? Would you leave me alone? My name is Maria. What's your name? Hemingway? Baldwin. Ernest? I'll be back. We're gonna head to the door diagonal of us. There's a mannequin at the end of the hallway. We'll make a right into the first door. And there is a tablet on the floor over here, or a whiteboard. We're going to need that for a puzzle upcoming. Don't worry about that mannequin just yet. We'll take care of them later. So you'll notice that the fireplace cover has been knocked off, and there's a ladder heading up. Yeah. Yeah. 
So we're going to use the whiteboard first. And I think I accidentally pressed the buttons a bit too fast on this part, but it goes white, black, and then red. But I think I accidentally removed one first. I don't remember. And when you put the red piece in, we're going to want to turn it 90 degrees to the left. That's where I messed up. Yeah, exactly. So you'll just go back into your inventory or not even have to do this. 90 degrees to the left and insert. That'll give us the Acacia key. Want to make sure you reload your gun. There was one bullet in the chamber for you know what. And now we're going to head back through the hallway that had the mannequin. Go into your inventory and make sure you're always reloaded. So we're going to run down this oddly shaped corridor and head into the children's room. And we're going to grab the matches off of the nightstand. Scared the hell out of me the first time I played this, I remember. Use the matches on the lamp right over here, on the candle. Grab the birthday card. So as we make our way back through this narrow hallway, there is going to be a mannequin that spawns. Just put it down. It should take four to five shots, then stop. There's a health drink right over here on this counter. As soon as we go through this door, a lying figure will be blocking our way. You're going to want to make a left into the door that we spoke to Ernest in. And as you can see, as soon as you enter this room, there's a lying figure literally waiting for you. Just pop it. And then you could get right past. We'll head into the first door that we see there, so we could head into the basement of the Baldwin residence. As we head down this long hallway, there's some revolver bullets on the floor. We'll take the last door on the right. Bunch of goodies in this one. Another instance where we're going to start shooting right away. Hit that first door on our left. So 
So this is the Book of Lost Memories, which is pretty much referenced in a lot of the Silent Hills. It's used as a way to resurrect the dead. I'm not going to sit here and personally read it, but if you want to pause and take a look at it or watch the no commentary version, you're more than welcome. So that's for a puzzle. Do you know a little girl named Amy? Why do you ask me that? This letter. To my dearest daddy. It's from a girl named Amy Baldwin. Your daddy? Yes. Where'd you find that? Up in the attic. Oh. What a fool. Now. It's too late. I finally understand why. <laughs> why she was there. Why she was holding that empty envelope when she, when she fell. Ernest, Amy, she isn't... I'm sorry. I'm sorry I reminded you. No need to apologize. You didn't remind me. I've never forgotten. Maria, some things we forget, and some things we can never forget. It's funny, I'm not sure which one is sadder. It's been ten years, but I still... Ernest, I'm sorry. I didn't know. No, it's, it's fine. Maria, that letter. I'll leave it here. Thanks. Maria? So... You must be... That's why... That's why you could see me. Huh? So perhaps that means that I can hope for a miracle as well. What do you mean? In the apartment next door, there's a bottle containing a white liquid. I don't know exactly where it is, but I know it's in there somewhere. I must have it. You... want me to get it for you? Please. Why don't you just get it yourself? If I could, believe me, I would. But I... White? I'll open the stairway door. Ernest, do you really believe it will work? I don't know. Well, that's okay. I don't mind fighting for an impossible cause. 
Anyway, it beats just giving up and doing nothing. Maria, thank you. God, leave it to Silent Hill 2 to get your tear ducts ready to roll. Now we're going to make a right. There is a save there if you need it. We're going to head through the door on the left. And now this hallway is a pain in the ass, I won't lie. There are cockroaches that's come here. Hold LT or left trigger and then spam the A button or X button on your respective controller and just wait for them to kind of get right in front of you and stomp on them. That's the only way I've personally figured out how to kill these pieces of garbage. Once the music kind of fades out a little bit, you know that you've taken out all enemies. You don't understand how many times I had to figure out how to <laughs> route that correctly. It's actually a bitch. We're going to head up these stairs, and we are actually heading to the Blue Creek Apartments. So once we head out this door, we're going to start shooting right away. There is a lying figure, and that says keep out of haunted house. It's kind of guarding our pathway. So basically just position yourself in a way that Maria is fully reloaded and has enough space in case the lying figure spews its acid at you. And this will look familiar from our Silent Hill 2 damage run. So all we have to do in here is take this door diagonal from the entrance and on top of the coin puzzle location is the white liquid. And now all we have to do is get back to where Ernest was just now unharmed. And that's pretty much it. As soon as you spawn, sometimes the lion figure or two will respawn in that area. You kind of just want to have your gun pointed right away. There is another one in this hallway. So yeah, just make sure you're completely ready to, uh, literally ready to fight. This DLC and Silent Hill 2 itself, the game loads up before the actual scene does which is kind of tough. Just make sure you're always aiming if you hear, like, any sort of enemy noise. Take the exact path back, heading back up the stairs. I gotta say, I believe that Silent Hill 2 was one of the first games in the early days to incorporate a DLC, if you will, or just a sub-story, other than maybe like Resident Evil or games like that. Thank you, Maria. That's the only item I couldn't get myself. By the time I found out about it, I could no longer leave this house. So long. Yes, but... will... Maria, the gods are here. You know it too. You were born in this town. I'm not sure God is the right word. Do you believe in fate? Not really. 
that's fine then. Ernest, can I open this? This is a dead end. There's nothing beyond here. I know. So, what if I had said I believed in fate? That James. He's a bad man. James. looking for the you that isn't you. Because he's kind? Do you know something? Yes. Maria, you're... Anyway, that's just what you think. You don't really know anything. That's fine. Okay. Mary? No, you're not. Do I look like your girlfriend?
My name is Maria. Well, as always, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. If you like this video and this guide helped you, please think about liking, commenting, and even subscribing to the channel. I also have made a Patreon slash The Notorious Base. The link will be in the bio of the video as well as on my actual channel. And yeah, um, that is Silent Hill in its entirety. With the main guide being out and Born From A Wish, we have successfully completed it. I looked at doing Silent Hill 3 sometime in the future, as well as some of the other titles. But with that, we'll leave it as a to-be-continued. A no-commentary version of this run will be pinned to the comments section, as well as to the bio of this video as well. I really hope you all have a fun and safe Halloween, or did, by the time this video is out. This is the Notorious Base, signing out.